Hello, hello, hello guys. This is a quick update about Project Kefel. You know, we've been working so, so hard recently. So today the plaster rang me this morning and told me he has finished doing the plastering. So I'm just here super excited to actually share with you for you to know exactly where we are. I know it's been a while I haven't posted. It's just because we've been busy doing work. So come on in so I can show you what, what we've done. So previously, when you, when you came to this property, when the last video, we hacked all this wall all this wall was hacked um, we had damp course done we then what we then do we rendered it we plaster it and now you can see we've skimmed it so it's all skimmed now bone dry you can see there also all this was hacked obviously we've plastered we rendered everything you can see everything has been skimmed really really nice now and it's looking really really wicked in this side and as you can see the ceiling also, we sorted out the ceiling as well. As you can see, the ceiling was in the same, same difference of ceiling now. So we literally aligned it to make sure it works well with the new sort of things we've done. So if you've come on in here, if you remember, this was just a room basically. And not just a room, again, we hacked all the walls were hacked. We then rented it, if you remember, all that's been done now. What we've done, we, we've plastered, we've skinned everything. You can see now, it's freshly plastered. Absolutely amazing, look at that. This is gonna be the wardrobe by you, and again, we created a built-in wardrobe because then you don't have to worry about buying wardrobe or wardrobe being repaired and all that sort of things. So you can see that's the wardrobe. We're gonna have a door here, that door that will then secure or whatever, um, clothing in there. And then you can see that's the L suite by the way. We've created an analysis so you don't have to worry about sharing toilets anymore. It's all done basically. So if you come in, I'll show you, we haven't finished it yet, but what we've already done is, Basically, you can see here, uh, we have done the shower cubicle, that's done and sorted, that is ready. And on that side would be the sink, right? That's where the sink is gonna go. And then obviously we've got the, we have the toilet going there. And again, it looks absolutely amazing. And then we, we really thought about having the property advance in a way that you move in there, it feels like a hotel or a mini type hotel. You can see we have the TV, point here as well and sockets so you will have the TV there so you don't really have to worry about sharing even TVs. And this, is, this is it. This is you can live here as long as you want because um, it's convenient and you don't have to share with um, other guests especially when it comes to toilets okay because most of our clients have been asking us for own ensuite rooms hence the reason why I had that in, in, in our mind to do this one that way and the few properties we have in, in the north exactly the same way. So if I show you the other room Exactly the same thing here. What we did was we, we, we built an end suite with this room and again all this place was hacked as you can see just been freshly plastered. That radiator is going, it's gonna be brand new radiators and we skin all this bit here. And again, there's a wardrobe there. As I've told you, we put all the all the bedrooms got, got wardrobe because we want that to feel that convenience. Right, no sort of repair maintenance that sort of thing. Again, we've got the TV point here and the socket for the TV. And again, we have an ensuite in here. And again, exactly the same layout. As you can see, massive, very high ceiling. And if we stand here to have a shower, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. It's tall, very, very tall. And you feel convenient. It's big enough as well. And here, that's where we're going to have the sink. The sink is going here and we've got a toilet going there as well. You know, I'm super excited, man. I'm really, really excited about this. So um, I'll take you, I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna show you the kitchen dining area. If you remember the video, you'll be shocked when you see this, right? Don't be too shocked, but it's a bit different, okay? Come on in. So, boom, this is it, guys. This is the kitchen dining area. If you remember, if you follow me on my Facebook or Instagram on YouTube, when I did a video here, we only had, we had a wall here. There was a massive um, wall here. It was a supporting wall. So what we did basically, we get rid of that wall. We have our chains installed um, according to building rec. And then we obviously we put all the stuff that is required. We build these pillars and the other pillar there just to support the RSG and support whatever is upstairs. And obviously we clear the toilet. If you remember, there was a toilet here. You can see the waste pipe there. And you can see where the toilet was as well there. So that has been taken down now. And all of it has been gone open plan, as you can see. Absolutely amazing. This is where the kitchen is gonna go. Remember this as well. This is the kitchen. 
kitchen is gonna go that way and then this is where the sink is gonna be right and then obviously we've got the washing machine and the dishwasher going there guys it's absolutely amazing it's so fresh and to walk into a property um, where you've, you've, you've seen what the builders have done where they've done absolutely amazing and they've done the property you don't have to be here every single day apart from coming in to just to monitor what they've seen absolutely amazing um, to, 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 to see how this has come on how this has actually been so now we are absolutely done here with the skin itself I would love to take you upstairs now so I can show you I can show you what the magic um, that we've done upstairs so come on upstairs actually before I go upstairs again we have another toilet downstairs with shower right this in case we have someone in the other small room upstairs they can use the shower or if you're in, or if you're in the sitting room here watching tv you could easily use the shower you don't have to use your own ensuite by the way because you've got this here for you to be able to actually utilize again we're going to have a toilet here we'll have the toilet there and we have the sink going there again this is going to be the shower absolutely amazing exactly the same thing I'm super excited actually. Look how high the ceiling is as well. So let's go upstairs. And again upstairs. The, the good news upstairs is basically we started painting as well. You know, we just had the miscut um, started um, a couple of days ago. Again, and uh, I'm gonna take you to, to the back room. Um, I don't know if you remember the back room. The back room was just an empty room as well without anything in it. So what we've done again, we mirrored what we did downstairs to upstairs as well. Each of these three rooms got ensuite in them. And again, if you come on in, again, we've got the, we've got the ensuite here. Again, exactly the same as downstairs. We have the shower, cubic out going there. And then obviously we've got the sink that will be going there. We've got the, you've got the, we've got the toilet. And it will be an amazing room. Look, it's big enough, you know, no matter what size you are, you can fit in here. It's absolutely convenient. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving this. And again, just by your side there, again, we have the built in wardrobe. Again, you don't have to worry about buying wardrobes or wardrobe being broken that you need to replace. It's absolutely amazing. So, we, we had our client in mind. And again, this is what I advise all my students or the people I work with. You need to know your target market you need to know what sort of people you, you are you are targeting and design your property or you build your property that way so when they move in they will just want to take it and again if you follow me this way you can see here and again this is absolutely amazing size you can have your bed here that's where the rad is going and again we've got the tv point we've got the sockets there you know it's absolutely amazing it's, it's, it's coming up it's coming up i don't know if you follow me on youtube or instagram when I bought this property, it was literally a shell. And it's really, really different now. So let's go on to the other room so I can show you um, what we've done there. Okay, you can see the landing again. The landing, you can see we've painted. We start, we just had the first coat. This is what we call mist coat, basically. This we're doing is to get the property ready for the second plumb, plumbing fix because we want to ensure that back of the rads or the pipes, back of the pipes are all being nicely miscoated and painted and ready to go with. As you can see here, we've done all that there. So I'll take you to the other, to the middle room upstairs. Again, exactly with what we've done downstairs, we mirrored what we did downstairs to up here. As you can see here also, absolutely amazing. It's been painted nicely. It's ready now for all the second fix of electric, as well as the plumbing. Electrician is coming in next week. To, to do the second fix just to start things going and again obviously this is going to be the wardrobe again the wardrobe is going that way absolutely amazing that side and also we've got the we've got the shower now as well up here as you can see all the houses all the bedrooms got exactly the same thing look at that all high ceilings i did not drop down the ceilings because it wasn't there wasn't there was no point to do it and it's all high ceilings and we have extractor fans and all the rest of the stuff that, that you'd expect to comply with um, the HMO requirement or, or building regs. So I'll take you to the other room. I need to tell you a bit about here. If you remember, we had a wall here, but what happened was we had to take that wall down because it was a brick wall. It was literally falling off. So when we took the plaster out, 
the bricks were not steady the, the bricks were not really strong so what we have we have to get rid of the whole one we rebuilt it again and uh, we've done it really well as you can see how erect it is how amazing it is it looks like the previous one but even better and stronger than the previous one right okay so in here this is the, this is the other room as you know this room if you remember the video we did not have this room we took this wall down the reason why we took that wall down because it was falling off already so what we did was we actually had that wall right going all the way here because we needed enough room to move furnitures we then nicked in a bit of space in here as you can see the angle there and then we connected we then bring the wall along that side so again gives you that feel to move your furniture and then it gives you this amazing space look at that absolutely amazing you can fit a double bed here you can have a table on the other side there and again amazing wardrobe you could have there and again this could be a shelf you know you could put your shelf here you know or you could have this little study table going along there right so and again you've got the shower absolutely amazing shower so you don't have to worry about utilizing the toilet downstairs or cubing in, in the toilet and all that sort, sort of thing so if i take you to, to, to the smaller room then i'll come back here so i can talk you through about what what we've done okay okay for those who've seen this before this used to be a bathroom okay you can see all that stuff still there right this was the bathroom basically you can see the toilet pipe there right so what we did was we moved this bathroom away so obviously we're gonna have this as an office uh, or as a guest room basically so likely to be an office so we've got that there if you wanted to if it's a single bed by the way so we had uh, a mile of guest room so if you want to have a guest room or an office whatever you want to have here you could have it a single bed fits part fit perfectly there and for us to comply with the minimum room size we're able to nick in a little bit on, on the landing to have this either as a store as a as a as a wardrobe or as a storage unit it's absolutely amazing you know i i cannot like emphasize you know how important for you to utilize the space in where your properties absolutely efficient and amazing way so 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 basically this is what we've done here so what we did basically since i've done the video we had to obviously you see when we hack the walls we have to inject damp of course in, in those walls we had we had to render it we had to plaster we had to wait it to dry and then obviously we have to do the rsjs the beam just to have that extension um open and then and then and then we've got to come upstairs again we have to sort out those rooms build the, all the stores for the for the um shower and by the way all the plaster boards inside out are all waterproof as well so you have to bear that in mind always showers have to be waterproof plaster boards because you know it's going to be dealing with water so bear that in mind we have done that and then obviously we got rid of this wall we rebuilt the wall stored wall after the solid store and good news is we all we have insulation soundproof insulation sound and fireproof insulation in all the walls in here again this protect the sound because um with some of my hmos some clients have complained about hearing what's happening next door. Sometimes they hear not pleasant noises, okay? So what we did in this property, we learn and improve all the time. All the stored walls, all the walls we rebuilt have insulation in it, not just insulation, it has sound and fireproof insulation in it. So it reduces the noise from this room to the room next door and then downstairs as well. So that's what we've done here. And obviously the ceilings we had to let we had to literally um, sort out the ceiling because the ceiling wasn't aligned. It was it had a, it had some sort of belly in it. So what we did, we took the ceiling out, we redo it again. This room and the room next door and uh, and the landing as well because it wasn't actually level. Now we wanted to work to it to have a proper finish because once you spend lots of money in this sort of properties, you want it to be really really done done up nicely. So. Uh, we did have a bit of slowdown because obviously we had COVID and uh, we had some minor delays, but we're still on track and we're doing really well. So I'm happy about what the, what the plaster has done. It's done an absolutely amazing job. The painter was happy about it, uh, about the walls. He actually called me and told me, listen, the, 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 the plaster has done an amazing job. He was happy about it and he even took the plaster as number. <laughs> 
just in case if you got a landlord is looking for um, help again this is the sort of power teams you need to build and create relationship uh, for um, uh, for um, future projects so so the next stage of this project would be to do the second fix what we call second fix second fix is when you put in the real sockets and cabling or the real sort of um, uh, radiators in or basically fixing the sink, the toilet, making it connected so that it works, it functions nicely and then obviously all the electrical, all that sort of thing, that's what we need to do. So what we're going to do in these stages, I've got the, I've got the, I've got the plumber here next week, but he'll be doing all the plumbing work and uh, a week, um, and, then, uh, and then the week after um, next would be the joinery where we're going to be putting the doors, curtains, axles, all that will be going whilst we've got the electrician sorting out the sockets as well. So these are the outstanding stuff we do. The painter started painting, so whilst we're doing the woodworks in here and the plumbing work, you'll be outside painting outside the property. So by the time you finish outside, the, the, um, the plumber, joinery and the electrician would have finished up here so we can then come in and do the proper painting to actually finish the uh, project. I really, really look forward to actually sharing every bit and pieces. I think the next video I'm gonna do after we've done the work is to go through the finances and uh, how long it takes me or how much it took me or how much money I spent to actually get this property to the standard it will be. So I don't wanna talk about the figures now because obviously it wouldn't make any sense because we haven't finished investing um, in the property. But I look forward to sharing that and the whole project. But what I'm gonna do next, basically, I'm going to share after we've done the sockets, we've done the plumbing works, we've done all that, so you can see how the baby is being, is being born basically. Basically right now we're just in that sort of mature stage. We're about to literally hit the delivery stage of the things. So once that done, I'll come on again, I'll do another video so you can see exactly what we've done. But again, thank you so much for um, watching these videos and I really appreciate your support on Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, YouTube, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see these amazing videos that I share so you can learn from me and, and at the same time share it to um, family and friends who are looking to um, invest in, in, uh, in properties and again I have my estate agency here in Cardiff, we do sales, lettings, management and we do below market deals, we have an amazing guy that we work with, Larry, he literally looks after all the deals so, um, uh, so yeah, we also have our educational business as well. If you ever want to join, jump in one of our free courses, feel free to do so as well. I'll leave all the link on the description below. If you need any help to do with properties, you've got me with you. Contact me if you need development ideas, renovation ideas, or just want to pick my brain, or you want to spend a day with me, feel free to click one of the links um, in the description below. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you so much.